somebody wants some of that. It's delicious. That's the oil that came out of the motor when I uh, removed it. It's uh, had the uh, leaky liner issue now. There's little seals on the bottom of the liners in the engine block. It's had that for pretty much quite a while, but it started to get really bad pretty much after I started driving it, after I did the uh, rebuild of the transmission and the exhaust and the steering rack. It, uh, it kind of just made it way worse right away. I guess maybe it's because it was sitting for so long. So engine's pulled out now. Uh, probably have to do a little bit of maybe some rust touch up in the engine bay, perhaps, and some oil cleaning figures. I only smashed the oil cooler once when removing the engine, so that's nice. I may do a non-ABS conversion too while I'm at this because it's nice to work on this when there's no engine here. We'll see. Depends what funds permit. So here's the freaking engine. All of its glory. So I'm going to start pulling this apart to, uh, you know, kind of see what's up. I know it consumed a lot of oil too, but I know that it's from the uh, valve guides in the head not being replaced by the machine shop. So that I assume I'll be able to find, but uh, it'll be kind of nice because I put on about a... 80,000 K on this engine since I rebuilt it about, I don't know, eight years ago. So I guess we'll see how good of a job I did on that whole rebuild. Once I start pulling it apart, then we'll find maybe I'm not really that good of a motor builder after all.